Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday. So today I'm going to show you how I do stain treatments. This video is kind of exciting. I don't know why, but I love doing stain treatments and working on things. So today's Monday. I usually do my laundry on Mondays because I live in an apartment complex and I share a washer and dryer. And because everyone's at work on Monday, I like to take over the laundry. So I am going to show you guys how I do stain treatments, which type of stains and how I treat those. I don't recommend going out and buying a bunch of stuff with stains on it like while you're sourcing, but if you're like me and you source at the bins uh, majority of the time, then you are bound to come home and find stains on some things. So it's nice to have a way of removing those stains. Uh, fingers crossed, let's hope we get the stains out. Sometimes they don't. But I would say 80% of the time I can get the stains out. So I'm going to just take you guys through, show you what I do, and yeah, let's have fun. Okay, so what I did was I just put a towel down on the floor because I don't really have anything else to work with right now. But So this is just a simple bowl, and then this is actually a hair dye brush that you use to apply color. You can get these at Sally's for like a dollar. I find that these just work so good at applying um, my mixture to the stains. And for the mixture, we have some Dawn dish soap. I prefer the blue one, but I don't have it, so this would this will work just as well, actually. Uh, we got some hydrogen peroxide. We have just some vinegar, baking soda, and then I also use Grandma's Secret Spot Remover. I only use this actually on silk and other delicate items, so we're not going to be using this today because I could not find anything at the bins um, that was like silk. So what I found, um, it's funny because when you're actually looking for stuff with stains. You can't find any stuff with stains. These are grease stains all over this shirt. Now, I wouldn't typically, you know what I mean, try and get stains out of this brand to sell because it's not really worth it, but for this video's sake, I picked it up. It also has a little hole there too. And then this top here, you can see it also has some grease stains. This is Lucky Brand, and it's actually plus size, so I will sell this. If we can get these spots out, definitely sell this. And then this piece here is a Zara jacket, and it has some, like, yellowing. Um, let me see if I can find it. Down here at the bottom, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's just some discoloration, so... I'm hoping that my mixture will take all these stains out, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how I do my mixture. Okay, so first I just put some Dawn. And then I put hydrogen peroxide. Just a little bit. I don't mix it, I just kinda put equal parts of everything and then the vinegar, I just put a little bit. The vinegar kind of acts um, with the baking soda. It sizzles, and I feel like it just helps lift the stains. You can actually use this on your stove to remove, like, grease um, on, like, your burners. And then put the baking soda in there. And then you're just going to mix it. Do you see how it's, like, foamy? So we're just gonna keep mixing. And that's basically it. <laughs> you just make it so that it foams and it, it'll thicken too, like as you're working it in there. So let's go ahead and apply to the stains. Let's go move this guy over here. And with the brush, we just work it in. Got a little spot here. I feel like doing it with this brush, it actually like works the product like in. So you can like just work it in there. Kind of like double layer it. All right, let's move on to the next guy. So I also just want to show you guys, you see how it calmed down? So now it's like a thicker, like pasty. Don't worry about it. That's that's how it's going to turn af after it settles. 
Alright, let me see if I can lift it so I can show you guys like a little closer here. So I'm just gonna I'll come back around after I put the camera down to work it in a little better. <laughs> I feel like this shirt was definitely a really good example because it is just covered in stains. Probably the best one that I could find. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this down and just work it in there. Alright, and then we have one more. Okay, so this angle you can definitely see what I'm talking about with like the yellow. I have no idea what it is, so I'm just going to use this mixture on it and see if that takes it out. Just all over on the bottom here. Something's telling me that it's dirt, but like it didn't come out in the wash, so really and guys don't be afraid to really like work it in there because that's going to help it you want it to get into the fibers of the fabric I'll also flip it over and really get it in there okay I probably should have turned on these lights <laughs> when I started, but oh well. But now you can really see. So this is all of the stain treatments here. What we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for about 25 minutes to half an hour, maybe an hour, and we'll just keep checking on it. This will not cause any lightning on cotton and just typical materials but I definitely would not recommend doing this on silk. I, I've done it before in the past and then I did ruin a top. So that's why I said for silk, you definitely want to use um, the Grandma's Secret Spot Remover. This stuff, it, it doesn't cause discoloration as much as this will because of the uh, peroxide and the baking soda. It, it acts, like I said, as a lifting agent, so it can lift color if it's silk that's been dyed. Okay, so I actually dug through some stuff and I found a stain here. I don't know if you guys can even see it though on silk because I really want to show you guys how I do silk. Can you guys see? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to show. Let me try to get in like better light here. There's like a slight discoloration here. It's very hard to see. I'm going to have to like try and get it uh, to show up on pictures just for this video so I can do like a before and after at the end and because I really want to show you guys um, silk because I get that question a lot. Okay, so I took a picture of it so we're going to go for it. I'm going to use uh, grandma's stain remover and it's a spray so you're literally just going to spray it on and then use your fingers, don't be scared, just use your hand and just rub it in there. Just work it. And then we're also just going to let this sit for a little bit. Not too long though, because I checked in on the other stains while I was searching after I found this, and they're still doing all right, so. I'm going to give it another maybe like 10, 15 minutes. This one, you have to like really like rub it in and just keep spraying. All right, I think that's good. So we're going to let it sit for a little bit. I know you can't see on camera, but I did take a picture and it shows up on the picture. So we'll do before and afters 
um, through pictures at the end of the silk. Been on here for about 15 minutes, but I'm actually already seeing uh, the stains have been lifted. If you can see there, it looks like it's all the same color underneath there. And then the silk stain is completely gone already. Uh, these ones I can't really tell, but when it starts to look very crusty and it's like dried up, um, that means that it soaked everything, like it pulled everything up and then it starts to dry out. Um, this one I'm not so sure about. I feel like I still might have a little bit of problem area right here, but washing also is going to help lift the stain too. I'm going to take all this stuff down to my laundry room and I'll show you guys what laundry detergent I use that also helps lift stains. Okay, so this is the laundry soap that I use. It's I buy it at Target. I really like the smell of it, but it's a powerful stain lifter, brightness colors, whatever. I don't know, I just really like this stuff, so this is what I'm gonna use. So I just put everything in. I also just threw a couple of like my own stuff in there. But as you guys can see, I do have to pay $1.75. Okay, so I just put the quarters in. So we're gonna do color delicates and we're gonna do it on cold. And I'm gonna come back down and check on this in 34 minutes. Okay, so it is done. So I'm gonna pull everything out and I'll show you guys what everything looks like while it's wet. And we'll see if the stains came out. I'm excited to see. Okay, so all of the stains came out of this top. There's nothing here. This one as well, they all came out. It's just dark in certain spots just because it's wet but as you can see, everything came out. Now this one did not come out, but I think it's because it wasn't a grease stain and it's actually like something else. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then we're gonna go ahead and use the grandma's spot remover because I've noticed that that one does work well um, with things that aren't grease stains, like yellowing especially, it, um, it works. And then here is the silk top look how clean that is it had um like these yellow marks that ran like streaks and i said that i would put in a picture so i'll insert the picture with um a before and after when i take the after picture but as you guys can see you can wash silk like there's nothing wrong with this this is the oscar de la renta silk scarf that i just showed in my last haul video but just wanted to show you guys you can wash silk in a washer just put it on delicates with cold water and you'll be fine okay so it's a couple hours later i did let um everything dry um i have this just hung up in my bathroom right now but i just wanted to show look at this absolutely no stains it looks perfectly not new but you know <laughs> it looks great so i'm excited i'm happy about the result on this top i'll show you the next one okay so you remember how bad this one was guys i mean it was seriously covered in stains and look absolutely no stains the little hole is still there so these two are the ones that came out the other one uh didn't come out i'll show you in a bit Okay, so it was right here. You can still see it a little bit. I mean, it did fade it, so I'll go ahead and use the Grandma's uh, Secret Spot Remover on this because I've noticed with that, it works better with um, like yellow tint uh, stains. So this, this happens sometimes, guys. Uh, you might have to do like two more stain treatments to get it completely out, but for the most part, it'll come out in the first try. All right, so there was my whole process for removing stains. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other tips on how you remove your stains, leave a comment below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos about reselling and thrift-related content. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and make some amazing sales. Bye.